Singy. Patron Saint very of Whiskey. Very singy today. Benjamin Raj. Benjamin Raj, you patron saint of whiskey. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Stop, stop, stop the ceremony. No. Why is this happening? Uh, I don't know. Because you. Yes, I just watched. Yesterday I thought you were having a stroke. I'm just yeah. gonna let it pass. I just watched Three Amigos. <laughs> and all I can think of now is the ceremony where they get the invisible swordsman to show up. <laughs> how much older I can think of. How much older are you than me? Uh, three years, I think. Alright. Four years, maybe. Alright. This is you know what's happening, because there's a sizable sizable amount of people in this community. Who've never seen the it's three like, amigos? What the hell is the three amigos? <laughs> Uh, I doubt it. I doubt people old enough to be getting serious about our whiskey. What are you doing over there? I'm making it darker. All right. It's compensating for the morning light. I don't know. I doubt it. I doubt it. I think. I think most people are gonna get that. I mean, Josh Galloway may just turn 21 years old. Yeah, that's true. He's barely old enough to drive. All right, we got a rye whiskey. It's 53.6. Okay. So, uh, peerless. Rye. rye with a slinging cod. Here's the thing about Peerless is they are actually reviving a brand that dates back to the 1880s. Uh -huh. First barreled in Contenderson, Kentucky. They actually went so far as to find the old spirits uh, license number right. and revive it. Okay. So instead of getting a new license, they went back and said, can we revive that Peerless then, license hold on, from that's, the 1800s? That's, that's yeah. I push back on that aggressively. <laughs> that's going back for like spreadsheet crit. Yeah, it is. That's bullshit. That's hardcore. Well, I, the only thing I care about is what's in the bottle. How far did they go back? How aggressively did they go back for re like in, enlivening, bringing back I will tell rye. you this. They're doing sweet mash, which means they're not adding any of a previous mash run to the new mash run to continue his consistency. So it's a sweet mash rye, and they are making and barreling all the stuff themselves, and they waited two years before they released their first product. So these are guys who are taking craft seriously. Now, they are also pricing it seriously <laughs> for a two-year-old rye. Well, it is peerless. That what do you means... mean? It's a company. Yeah. Oh, yeah, without pure. It is without yeah. Here. But that's the original name. Sure. So. From how uh, long? From how? 1869? This is Corky and Carson Taylor, yeah. 1869? 1889. Mm -hmm. Henry, blah, 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 blah. Okay, this does, you mentioned a sweet mash. Mm -hmm. I am getting a little bit more sweetness on the, on the nose of this rye. But sweet mash is the wrong word to use because it's not necessarily more sugar. It just means you're not using old mash to start the new rye. No, I'm getting more sweetness on the nose than I would expect from a rye. Oh, you know what it is? It's probably the high proof. If this has flavors that can stand up to a 56%. This, by the way, is 107.2 proof, 53.6% uh, alcohol. Yes, that. And uh, this is R15040630301 because they're only bottling six barrels at a time, which is what, maybe 1,200 bottles, mm -hmm. 1,500 bottles? All right, this is uh, a rye with a lot of character. I'm getting. Very present oak and apple and uh, wow, it's really friendly. Yeah, really, well, apple hold more on. than anything else. Hold on, friendly. But these notes at fifty six percent, they're not uh, hard to find. No, no, they're, they're like, dominant. Wow, right there. You get the oak, you get the apple, and then like the sweetness. You said it's well, sweet is the wrong word for the mash. Man, I'm getting a sweet note, like a sugar. No, me sweet too. Note on this more so than I would expect from. Must other rise, but again, it may be coming from the the flavors that have to stand up to that high of a proof. I also wonder what they're going to they be very in the barrel at vibrant because I'm getting less of the super bitter young oak, yeah. and more of the sweet wood mm -hmm. notes. Not getting any of the um, heavy no nope. licorice, licorice that I normally get in a rye. No, I'm getting way more cinnamon. As a matter of fact, that's what it is. You know what this is reminding me of? This is reminding me of uh, horchata, cinnamon milk. Okay. The Mexican drink. You ever had that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So nice. creamy and sweet. 
but cinnamon dusted. But the rye spice isn't completely absent. No, no, it's still there. It's definitely a rye. Right. But I'm saying for a rye, yeah. it's very creamy, cinnamon. I like it. Now, you said uh, they're charging. They're like, uh, they're charging, charging for like 100 bucks a bottle for a two-year-old rye. They're very, they're very, I'm very much a fan of their rye. <laughs> really? Oh, God. Here's what happened. No, Here's no, what no, happened. No. Here's what happened. No, no, no. That was a hundred dollar burp. I had to go back and savor those notes <laughs> oh, to get maximum value. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why Andres, I do this show with you. Andreas Rexel. <laughs> So, those blue books you use on the table, what are they? I'm so uh, curious. For, old uh, ship figureheads and sterns. It's a page turner, <laughs> gripping <laughs> at every page. You sort of just can't stop reading it. I mean, I sat down to read it as bathroom reading, right. and I was on the toilet for four days. Now, if you still happen to think that's a cool book, <laughs> don't worry. This blue thing is actually the protective... Covering, covering over that it, goes yeah. that goes over the book cover. That's right. So, how old is this, by the way? Do we know? I don't know. It's not young. It's ancient. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Ruma Lerma. Does MPG have only so? Oh, in MGP. MGP have only some flavor profiles that you, as a distillery, can pick from. Hmm. Or are distilleries allowed to ask for a specific flavor profile? The answer is both. Ooh. So. Uh, if you are so small that you can sort of just choose from their stock, they will give you a book to choose from of things that are their standard runs. Um, like here's a few of the rye mash bills we've got and here's a few of the bourbon mash bills we've got. Right. If you are big enough, you can go to MGP and say, we want you to make a run exactly like this. Mm -hmm. And then put it in these barrels at this proof and then give it to us. So MGP... Is uh is and they just lowered their minimum barrel purchase. Oh, because they're not the only ones in the sourcing game anymore. Nice. And so they're that having, helps us so much. Yeah, they're having to compete with all these other people who are like, look, we'll source. You don't have to use MGP. We'll source your whiskey. Okay, for you. so so everybody that's in um, the whiskey tribe doing whiskey quests, mm -hmm. that is a big deal for us mm -hmm. because oh, we're, our, our next whiskey quest is coming up soon, and it's a sourcing quest. It is. It is. Coming up soon. All right. Um, I like this. Not a hundred dollars worth, but it's probably uh, up there on my list of favorite ryes. Yeah. Super I, good. I agree. I don't, yeah, I was going to say, I don't, I don't know that it's a hundred dollars worth good. No, but somebody. This is one of the best ryes that I've tasted. Somebody that's really into rye may actually really appreciate that. More so than us. Well, or not. I mean, it, this might be a unicorn rye. Oh, uh, because it doesn't you know what I mean? have... It doesn't have all the traditional rye notes. Right. It might not be brilliant and spiky and so, aggressive enough. Let me ask you this. Because... Please, please Rex, this ask is, away. This is a very, very serious situation. Okay. Very serious situation. Okay. It's critical. Critical to the, <sighs> critical to the process. Okay. All right. So, the same way that we were for a long streak getting these craft whiskey distilleries from the States... Mm-hmm. That kept delivering this raw leather green note that we yeah, didn't like. This is not doing it. No, no, no. I'm not talking about that. Okay. The same way that we had a streak there. Mm -hmm. Is it possible that in the early days of our rye experience, oh. we were having a streak of the dill pickle and licorice And so rye. we decided that was a standard rye. Yes. I would because I know before before then you're not reaching for the rye. Mm -hmm. You're reaching for Irish or Scotch or right. occasionally bourbon. I would say I'm willing to entertain the premise. Yeah. But my memory of those early ryes is that we were picking pretty well-known standard rye brands. Okay. Now hold on, Daniel. There's a, there's another patron saint of whiskey in here. Ah, that's it's, true. It's, it's it's one. Well, is he's he not really a patron saint. Mitch Weddle, you Weddle of. Whiskey. Yeah, because Weddell also left us... Weddell ski. That's why this is mostly empty, because this is uh, also one Weddell left us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we really enjoyed it when he brought it. Yeah. Uh, Brendan and I kept yours unopened because, uh, you know, we'd already opened this one. Mitch is never sending anything again. You know why? Because how do you top the full Weddell? Well, there's nothing else left to send. He sent every whiskey known to man. In the whole world. <laughs> In the whole world. Yeah. 
Mitch right. Weddle, you patron saint of whiskey. Also, Weddle. Chad, yes. do something special, like invert the colors. I don't f know. Hey, Mitch, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. You fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may I steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.